Tonight, we're posting the final episode in our 21 digital film series. The project examines the simple question of does where you live in the state affect how you live? 21 profiles one person in each of our 21 counties and looks at the social determinants that affect that person's life. This last film introduces us to Union County's Kashanda Marche. Kashanda is living with HIV. She's struggled with mental health issues, but along the way, she discovered her authentic self. This fueled her mission to combat the stigma and ignite her passion for community outreach in Rahway, empowering others through daily affirmations and self-belief, proving that resiliency defines us, not always the challenges we face. I had the pleasure to meet her and hear her story. Kashanda, I'm so honored to get to talk to you. You have lived quite a life. How do you go from, I've heard you describe it as being uh, confused, scared, mad uh, about some of the health issues that you've gone through to becoming a voice of empowerment? It was quite, or is quite the, um, the journey one that I never really could have imagined for my life. Um, there was a moment where I felt I had no future. And so that was a pretty dark place. And so to go from all the things that go along with living in such a dark place, because that I can go on and on about that, but that transition, that moment when you begin to see yourself as worthy and you get to start believing in yourself that you can be bigger, you can be better, you can do better. And when you finally see yourself as being more than any diagnosis or any illness or any stigma, when you can begin to see yourself as more than that, your whole world changes, the whole world around you changes. And so for me, I feel like to have experienced such a gift, even with all the bad things that, you know, happened, I, I owe it to the next person that may be living in such a dark place or not have that belief in themselves so I feel like they are worthy to be loved. I owe it to them to be an example that, no, you are worthy, you are enough, you are beautiful, you know, you deserve love, and you can be better. And you do that now. For other women and girls, you give them these mental wellness tools, you call them, sure. which I, I really like. It's not mental health tools, mental wellness tools. Yes. What do you do in the nonprofit um, that you created? And how do you see that really giving this generation of folks who have challenges in front of them the ability to not just overcome, but to live their best life? Yes, yes. Well, first of all, you have to recognize that the creation of Creative on Purpose. That's your nonprofit. That's the name of the nonprofit, Creative with a K, on purpose, right? And you, you said it, we, we, we provide mental wellness tools. Um, mental wellness is so much more than just your, you know, mental capacity. It is the link to every other part of life. And so we feel like by creatively offering different tools that can help you, you know, build your self-esteem, learn about self-esteem, find your own voice, going down a road of self-discovery, um, self-awareness. If we can help build your confidence and your strength in these areas, then you become unstoppable. And so, Affirmations are a part of it. A big part of it is just leading by example, just kind of demonstrating and, and owning my story in a way to where I'm not ashamed of it anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I think that that is the best way to kind of show people themselves. 
it's life changer for them. And that, that's the best thing that I can do and put forward is, is just living the life that, that, that God has purposed for me because, I mean, there's been countless times where, I mean, I faced death so well, many you, occasions. You were diagnosed with HIV as a new mom. Yes. You went through multiple brain surgeries. Yes. You lost your ability to walk. Yes. You use a wheelchair. Yes. Uh, now for, for quite a few years. Yeah, since 2019, it was official that my legs just totally was like, okay, that's it. You know, um, a couple years prior to that, I had a little slow walk. I was using mobility aids, a walker and a cane. And, and I mean, that adjustment, it's just, it just, has been um, starting over, readjustment, realignment, like one after another, yeah. after another, after another. A lot of people would have just been like, I'm down, I'm out. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been there. I've been there multiple times, but something deep inside of me kept lifting me up because I knew I, I didn't have the strength to do it. And I used to be one that spoke more than I listened. Sometimes you can't tell, but <laughs> I do, you know, yeah. and that's something that you give a person like people that feel unheard. When you finally give them a moment to be heard, it is life changing. And so I have to ask then, how did growing up in Union County shape how you pursued your life to get to this point? I received services from, from, from Union County because there were times in my life where I had to live with my parents, you know, these health ups and downs. Mm -hmm. There's so many resources and things available and I just, I appreciate, you know, just for me it's a blessing, you know, when you get to experience um, different ways of life. Well, not, one, not necessarily that one is better than the other, you know, we just have different ways of life. Kashanda, you are a blessing. Uh, oh, and to everyone you. who you've been able to help, thank you for sharing your story. And thank you so much for being part of this 21 series. Oh, thank you. It's been a wonderful experience. I appreciate it. And thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.